Yeah, hi everyone. In this video, we'll deal with the topic serial homology as exhibited by the appendages of prawn, as it is included in the syllabus of BSc Geology Practical. So, the principle are as follows: like those organs having similar in origin structure, but function may be different and such organs are called homologous organ and in case of prawn 19 pairs of appendages are present having basic fundamental structure are similar and its origin are also similar but they perform various functions and all these appendages are arranged in serial order in the one and the same animal so it is shows as serial homology and in prawn 90 pair of appendages are as follows like antineule, antenna, mandible, maxilla, maxillula, three pairs of maxillipedes, two pairs of chillet legs, three pairs of walking legs, five pairs of pleopods and the one pair of uropods. The serial arrangement of prawn appendages are shown here. There is a, uh, the first part is known as cephalic while the middle part is known as thoracic and the posterior part known as the abdominal part. These all 19 pairs of appendages are arranged in series of prawn and it is divided into three parts that is five pairs of cephalic appendages, eight, six pairs of the thoracic appendages and the six pair of abdominal appendages. And all these are built on a bidamus plan that is each has a basal protoprotite formed by coxa and bases. The bases being the stall in position BS2 rami, an outer exopodite and an inner endopodite, and both are made of smaller segments called podomeres. The function of the cephalic appendages are as antineules help in the sensation and the tactile in function. Antenna is a sensory and excretory and balancing organ, while mandible helps in the mastication of the food and maxillula help in manipulation of the food. Maxilla that manipulates food and respiration. The diagram of the antineule and the antenna is follow here. The diagram of the mandible, maxillula and the maxilla is here. The thoracic appendages include the first maxillipede, second maxillipede, third maxillipede and then typical legs and then first chelate leg and the second chelate legs. Abdominal appendages, appendages uh, contain six pairs of, uh, of uh, pair of appendages and these are typical biremous appendages, one pair in each abdominal segment and they help in the swimming and hence called as a swimmerates or pleopods. Conclusion. It uh, can be seen that all appendages are made on the basic plan and have modified for different functions and has, as they are arranged serially, they are said to be a form a good, a good example of serial homology. That's all. Thank you and keep watching.